Hi friends, welcome to the channel Mechanics of Solids. In this section, we will continue with numericals of composite structures. Now let us see the question. Here we have a frame like this. On this frame, we have a copper tube arranged like this. The bottom of the frame is given support like this. Here another steel rod is here which is having a diameter of 36 mm. This is a steel. So this is a brass tube. I am taking the cross section that's why it is shown like this. Now let us consider a small weightless plate on the surface. The weight is neglected for this plate. Now, a force of P kilo Newton is applied here. The force or the load P should be such that it should compress the steel rod. If it compress the steel rod, then what is the happen? Then what is the shortening occurs to the steel rod shortening in the steel rod is how much how much load p is required for that what will be the net compression or shortening occurring to the brass tube and the steel this is our question so for solving this we have outer dia of the brass tube outer dia of the brass tube was 60 mm and the inner dia of the brass tube 50 mm is given. Apart from that, elasticity of the steel is given as 210 giga pascal that is equal to 210 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm squared. Elasticity of the brass is given as 105 giga pascal that is equal to 105 into 10 power 3 newton per mm square. Limiting value of the stress on the steel is given as 105 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square. Converting this meter to millimeter 10 power 3, 10 power 3 power 2, 10 power 6. Coming to the numerator it will cancel that is 105 newton per mm square. Limiting value on the brass is equal to 75 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square. That is equal to 75 newton per mm square. All these data are given. More, more data are here. This length, this length is how much? 300 mm is given. And this gap, this gap is given 0 0.08 mm and uh, this length is also given this length is equal to 100 mm so now we can write the value of the length on the length of the brass tube is equal to 300 mm comma length of the steel rod is equal to this 300 this 300 plus this 100 Point zero, it is neglected. That is approximately equal to 400 mm. So these are the data we have provided with. Then find the load P required for a shortening of the steel rod, and what will be the net shortening occurred occurred to the steel rod, and the net shortening occurred to the steel rod and the brass tube. This is the question. Net shortening of the composite structure and the shortening of the steel. That's the question. So we can find out the load P. Load P. What is what will be this load P? Some amount of load is required to compress the brass tube to the top of this steel rod. After that process only the steel rod get shortens. You got the idea? Some amount of load is required to compress the brass tube so that this plate should reach the top of the steel rod. By applying some more force, the steel rod gets shortened. So, initial force required be P dash for the compression of the brass tube. Plus, some amount of load is required for the compression of steel along with the brass tube. So, P dash plus P2 dash is the 
net to load p acting on the plate so for finding this p dash implies compression in brass compression in brass this is the case that we are taking delta l is equal to p l divided by a e delta l is 0 0.08 mm 0 0.08 is equal to p dash into length is 300 for brass divided by area of the brass that we need to find out here area of the brass is equal to pi by 4 outer dia square minus inner dia square that is approximately no not approximately that is 275 pi mm square area of the steel also we can write here pi by 4 into 36 square that since it is a rod and since it is a tube we are writing the equation like this this is 324 pi mm square now we can substitute the value of uh, area here this 275 pi into elasticity value for the brass is 105 into 10 raised to 3 from this we will get the value of p dash p dash will be 24178 newton 24178 newton now we have p dash value now the next thing we need to understand is that for a load of p dash newton there will be a stress generated internally on this brass tube so then what is that stress sigma b new sigma b we need to calculate now sigma b generated sigma b for a load p dash sigma is equal to p dash divided by area of the brass that is 24178 divided by 275 pi you will get it as 28 newton per mm square so what is the limiting value of on of the limiting value of stress it is 75 newton per mm square so new limiting value of stress for brass we can write it as 75 minus 28 newton per mm square out of this 75 maximum it is the limit out of that 28 is already generated then the remaining availability is 75 minus 28 that is equal to 47 newton per mm square now the next thing we need to understand is that there will be a compatibility between the limiting stress for steel and brass then I will write that compatibility in terms of delta L. I will write that. For compatibility, we can equate the strain. Strain on what? Brass is equal to strain on steel. This we can equate but here the length are varying we have the equation delta l by l is equal to epsilon and e is equal to epsilon stress divided by epsilon stress by strain from here elongation is equal to sigma by e delta l by l is equal to sigma by e and delta l is equal to sigma l divided by e so i can write delta l of the brass is equal to delta l of the steel this compatibility i am considering by considering i can write sigma of the brass into length of the brass divided by e of the brass is equal to sigma of the uh, steel into length of the steel divided by e of the steel the Using this compatibility, I can calculate the new limiting stress value on the steel. Now, sigma s, I need to calculate from here, new limiting value. That is, sigma b, I have, sigma b is 47. 47 into length of the brass is 300 divided by 105 for the brass into 10 raised to 3 
equal to sigma s into 400 for the length of the steel e steel is equal to 210 into 10 raised to 3 now we got the value this will implies sigma new limiting stress for the steel is equal to how much on solving we will get the value 70.5 70.5 newton per mm square now these are the new value for sigma s and sigma b new limiting stress value this we need to keep in mind now our aim is to calculate the load p2 dash what is the load p2 dash p2 dash is required for the combined compression of this brass tube and this steel now you must understand that after supplying a load of p dash the top plate is on the surface of the steel rod now the the top plate will come down along with the steel as well as brass so the combined compression of steel and brass requires some load that is p2 dash so i can say that the load on the steel plus load on the brass will be equal to p2 dash okay fine load is equal to stress into area stress on the steel into area of the steel plus stress on the brass into area of the brass is equal to p2 dash very easy what is the new limiting value of stress we got for steel that is equal to 70.5 what is the area of the steel 324 pi plus sigma of the brass we got 47 newton per mm square new limiting value in the area of the brass we got to uh, what what is the area 275 pi is equal to p2 dash on solving we will get p2 dash is equal to how much p2 dash value after solving 112308 112308 newton now what is the value of p we reach the answer p is equal to p dash plus p2 dash p dash what was the value of p dash p dash value we got it as 24178 24178 plus 112308 finally we will get a value 136.4 kilonewton this is our answer first part is over PV found now what is that delta L for steel that we need to calculate for that we are equating the stresses on the steel and the brass second part of the question for finding delta L of steel we know that whatever compression occurring to the steel should be equal to the compression occurring to the brass therefore I can write the compression or shortening on the steel should be equal to compression or shortening on the brass this is the equality I need to keep in mind equating the stresses equating stresses we know that stress is equal to force divided by area or elasticity E is equal to stress divided by strain from this stress is equal to E into strain this equation we can forget sigma is equal to e into delta l by l this equation we can keep in mind so equating the stresses sigma s is equal to sigma on the brass sigma s is equal to e of the s into delta l of the steel divided by length of the steel is equal to e of the brass into what is the initial uh, compression taken place in the brass that is 0 0.08 0 0.08 plus what is the next compression taking place that is delta L on the brass 
This is the net compression occurring on the brass tube divided by length of the brass. Now we can equate the values 210 into 10 power 3 into delta L of steel is same as delta L of the brass on combined compression same shortening will occur to steel and brass therefore I can write it as delta by length of the steel length of the steel is given as 300 sorry uh, length of the steel is given as 400 mm is equal to brass elasticity is 105 into 10 raised to 3 into 0 0.08 plus delta whole divided by length of the brass is 300. We know that delta is the shortening occurring to the steel and as for the brass. Now delta we can find out from this. We will get delta is equal to 0 0.16 mm. Now that is the net sorry this is the shortening shortening of steel the steel shortens by 0.16 mm now net shortening is equal to net shortening to the composite structure net shortening to the composite structure is equal to initially there is a shortening by 0 0.08 now we have a shortening on the steel along with the brass as 0.16 now it is 0.24 mm and this is how we solve this problem this is a very good problem you must learn it and understand it by the techniques I have applied and the ideas I applied here okay thank you